Hello everyone, and thanks for joining us today on Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Ali. Hello. So today we have a special snow globe. This snow globe is from Austria. Uh, and this has got an interesting story behind it because uh, when we first started doing this, uh, Ali and I, we watched a uh, documentary. Uh, the name of the documentary was How the Snow Globe Was Invented. Uh, it's from BBC News. And in the, uh, in the uh, documentary, they explained that the inventor of the snow globe was somebody named uh, Erwin Perzy, P-E-R-Z-Y. And he invented the snow globe by accident. Uh, he was trying to improve the light bulb and accidentally invented the snow globe. And uh, now his grandson, Erwin Perzy III, is still making snow globes in Austria, uh, in a factory in Austria. And uh, so we watched this, uh, this documentary. And next thing you know, a few weeks later, my sister says, hey, she found some snow globes at the thrift store. And one of the snow globes that she found is, is this, little gem. this snow globe right here from this Austrian factory where the grandson of the guy that invented the snow globe, this is one of his snow globes. Yeah, if you look on the back here, um, it says made in Austria and the label says um, uh, House of Global Art, Austria. So uh, so this is one of his, his globes are all like this. They have a, mm -hmm. a simple plastic, black plastic base and uh, simple and, and it, this is a, a, a small one that he makes. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the documentary so you can see and you'll see this is one of the snow globes that they sell there. Uh, this one, uh, obviously, it's missing almost half the water. What's yeah. in there is murky. And, uh, and something interesting about this is that uh, he's, he mentioned in the documentary, this has pure alpine uh, spring water in it. No chemicals, no glue, no glycerin, nothing. And apparently the snow in here is a special uh, formula that the family came up with that will fall slowly in plain water without having to put anything in it. So this is like some secret, kind of like, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pepsi, you know, they, or, co or, co or Coca-Cola, right? They will not let you know what, what the formula right. is. So we've got to save this snow. Right. We don't have any Alpine spring water, but we, we got something else that we can use. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix this thing up. All right. Okay. Join us. Okay, so these uh, these Austrian globes are uh, assembled a little bit differently than the globes that you're used to. And uh, this one's actually coming apart, but uh, this plastic base, uh, there we go. It's just uh, like a solid, it's almost like a solid uh, a solid base snow globe. It's just, uh, this was just glued in there and the glue just kind of deteriorated after over time. Uh, maybe the water coming out of the globe deteriorated the, the, the glue, but uh, basically this was just pressed into this uh, plastic base. Now uh, we have something interesting here. We have a, looks like a plastic cover over the, with a rubber stopper here. Let's see if that just kind of comes off. Okay, here we go. All right. The, all right, so the there's the ornament right there. And the ornaments, yeah, the ornaments in this thing here. Okay, so we gotta just make sure that we seal this up and we're yeah, done yeah. so that no water leaks out. But it's a very simple ornament here. It's just like a, almost like a two-dimensional uh, scene here. Very simple, but uh, that's how most of these globes are that from yeah. Austria. They're just kind of very simple scenes of Christmas uh, or winter scenes. Sure. All right, so uh, we got a little bit of, uh, snow caught in there and like i said this is special snow so we're going to try to recover as much of it as possible uh the austrian spring water unfortunately is murky and turning yellow for some reason so we're not going to be able to, to, to save that but i'm definitely going to try to save that uh, snow so how we're going to do this uh we usually do this off camera but uh, we're going to do this on camera this time uh i'm going to take some filtered water here just to for the rinsing process and i'm going to fill the globe up and I'm going to let the snow fall that's down. That's some to... cool snow. It is some cool snow because that's just plain water. And look, yeah. it's just kind of circulating. That's crazy. So I will probably just go ahead and speed up the, the video for this part. But what I'm waiting for here, and that's that's interesting. I've, this is this snow is falling really, uh -huh. really slowly in this place. So I don't know what they made this out of. 
So we're gonna sit here and wait for the snow to settle down and then pour the water out above the snow. And we just keep doing that until the snow is clean. So, okay, the snow has pretty much settled to the bottom finally. I, this is some weird snow that they have here in plain water. It just falls really slow, but you can see how murky that water is. So now I'm gonna pour the water out and I'm gonna stop short of any snow coming out. So just keep that snow down there. I would love to get my hands on some of that. This is interesting snow. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna fill the globe up again. And again, we're gonna wait for it to settle. And once it settles, we'll come back, pour out the water and keep doing that over and over until we get clean water and clean snow. So we'll be back when that's all done. Okay, we've got the snow all rinsed out. We had to uh, do that technique about, I think it was like four times yeah. before we finally got nice clean snow. So this is the original snow from the Austrian uh, snow globe. And uh, now, uh, as I said, we don't have Austrian spring water to put back in this, but uh, we do have, uh, we have Zephyr Hills spring water. So, <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Zephyr Hill spring water yeah, in this why not? spring water. It's not Austrian, but you know it's, it's it's spring water, so we're gonna use it. And you know it's Florida. It's Florida spring, spring water. water, exactly. So this is Austria meets Florida. Uh, meets Florida. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Like, honestly, I just want to get my hands on this snow. The Look snow, the, the snow really, like I said, with just plain water, the snow really just kind of like, it circulates like it had yeah. like either baby oil or possibly does, uh, yeah. like, like extra like glycerin or glue it's or something. Crazy. Yeah, it's really something. Uh, I don't know what that formula is. All right, so we've got the water mm -hmm. and we've got the, uh, the snow and everything. So the next thing we're going to do now, the construction of this globe. What's that? Oh, no, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so first thing is this uh, plastic collar. Uh, not really sure why, but okay, this plastic collar fits over here. It's like a light bulb. Kind of. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put that collar there, and then the figurine just fits down in through there. And it looks like uh, I might be able to get this without an air bubble. Let's see. Maybe. Push it down in through there. Maybe. Let's see. And then put this rubber disc on there. And that kind of seals it. But we're not going to let that be the only thing that seals right. it this time. Right, exactly. So let's see if we got an air bubble. We do have an air bubble. We <laughs> got a pretty big okay. one. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna have to do uh -huh. for this. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have to pull this back Not apart. Really. No? What? Why don't we just take the... There we go. Yeah. I'll just take the, uh, the tweezers. There we go. Yeah, exactly. And then, okay, so I'm gonna put some more water in here. And what I gotta figure out is how to get this to seal and not get an air bubble in it. This is gonna to be tough. Okay, so put a little more water in there. Okay, let that snow settle. That way we don't lose any when we push the right. figurine in. Exactly, so now. It's not settled yet. It's not settled, but I think it's uh, okay for me to just put it there right now. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. So now uh, the, the snow is mostly settled. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and push it back down. All right, so there, it's all, it's seated. So now I'm going to use this rubber disc to hold it in place here. And I think that's basically how this is supposed to work. Okay, now I'll go ahead and get this rubber disc underneath the lip of this plastic sleeve here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at the moment, there is no, okay, there's no 
air bubble at the moment. So what I think we should do is let this dry because this is kind of a strange kind of a globe here. And then we can seal this when it's dry and hopefully the there won't be an air bubble introduced into it and we'll see what happens. So we'll come back when this is all dry and we're going to go ahead and seal it with some hot glue and see what happens. Okay, so we were going to let that go ahead and dry and uh, try to seal it, but we noticed that there was an air bubble already in there and it's just the way this comes together. I don't know how they got the air bubble. I don't, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if there was an air bubble or not to begin with, but right. in order for us to get the air bubble out of there, we're going to, have to do something a little bit different. So uh, what I discovered is I'm looking at these pieces that, uh, that go together here for this Austrian globe here and uh, this collar that goes over the what over the he globe here. Folks, I said, why don't we fill up the proof? Uh -huh. And then this piece goes through that collar and then this rubber piece seals it. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to hot glue this figurine uh, mount to this collar that goes onto the globe. And that way, when we put this on there, we should be able to get it uh, on there without an air bubble. So we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and glue this. So we've got the hot glue gun here. So Allie, if you could please hold this piece right there. Sure. So I'm gonna put some hot glue around the base of this mount here, all the way around so that it'll hold the water back. Probably should have done it over the uh, thing. <laughs> okay, now um, we're gonna go ahead and put this into the collar here, which goes this way. Mm -hmm. And okay, there we go. All right, so it's in there. We're gonna let that cool, and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, the uh, the glue is uh, cooled, and we have the figurine mount sealed to this collar that goes on the on the globe now we're going to see if we can get this in there without an air bubble let's, yeah. see, what, let's see what happens but if not we have a way of we can't get a syringe in here because this isn't a rubber uh, stopper but we can get uh we, there's another way to get the air bubble out if we have to let's let's see if this works just lower this down mm -hmm. keep lowering it i'm going to give it a twist as i put Push it down onto the globe. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what happened. Gets it all the way on there? I think so, yeah. Let's see what happened. Hey, look. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Okay. Got a couple of air bubbles. <sighs> Almost. However, it is sealed. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. But here's what we'll do. We have another method of getting that air bubble out. We're going to go through that right now. And uh, this is a method you can use with any, uh, any globe. So we'll be right okay, back. Okay, so this is an alternate method for getting an air bubble out of a globe. If you don't have a syringe or some other way. And in this particular case, the syringe that we normally use to get the air bubble out wouldn't work because there's no way to get that syringe in there. So uh, another way, and this works uh, especially well if you have the globe out of the base. So if the globe is out of the base like this, uh, we can use this method here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the figurine and we're going to take a, well, we need a pot like this of water. You can use a, a pail. You can use a, like one of those five gallon uh, 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 buckets from, uh, from uh, Home Depot or whatever. But first put the uh, figurine on the base, uh, excuse me, on the, on the uh, uh, mount inside the water and move it around and make sure there's no air bubbles trapped in the, in the uh, figurine or the, the mount. You see those little air bubbles coming up? Yep, so I'm just kind of tapping it, making sure there's no air bubbles. Okay, so now, uh, Allie, mm -hmm. if you could pour some water into the globe here and just fill it all the way up to the top. Okay. All the way. Okay, so now this particular globe doesn't have any glue or any glycerin or anything in it, but if you did, uh, filling the globe all the way to the top like this uh, will keep anything from coming out. So what happens is if you have the globe completely filled like this, you then lower the globe gently down into the water. And as you do that, 
since you have this globe full of water, there'll be no exchange of water between the globe and the pot. Now I've got them both under water and I can assemble the globe and the uh, figurine under the water and get no air bubbles. Okay. So I'm looking at it underwater here and I see no air bubble inside the globe. So we got it. So let's see here. Had it. <laughs> uh, what happened? When I pull it out of the pot, an air bubble got in there. So now I gotta just... All right, so we had a couple of issues with this. If you noticed earlier in the video, um, what was happening was when I was taking, it, this was fine in the water, but when I took it out of the water, air was getting into the, uh, into the globe. And what I found out, and I did this off camera when I uh, examined this a little closer, this is a, a three piece, uh, since this is an unusual uh, system for a snow globe, but it's three pieces here. This uh, cup that the uh, ornament, or excuse me, the uh, figurine is mounted on, it has a lip that uh, hits the edge of the uh, globe opening and stops it there. Then there's this rubber gasket uh, seal that goes over that. And then this collar slides over the whole thing, pushing this rubber seal down onto the globe to seal it and make it watertight. Well, unfortunately, this rubber seal is not working. This is the weak link in the whole thing here. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, um, <laughs> it's weak, yes. Uh, this rubber seal is all distorted. It's, uh, it's misshapen. And uh, so this probably was stored in a hot environment or something, but this rubber seal failed. And that's, where, that's why probably this was missing water because it leaked out through here and the air was getting back into the uh, globe. But now what I've done is I took out the rubber seal and I sealed uh, these two pieces here with, uh, with the hot glue. So now this is airtight. And so we're gonna go ahead and try this again now. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and lower this down into the water carefully. Mm. And... A string on the... There, is everything off of there? Okay. Uh... I think so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So now I'm gonna lower the figurine in there. Turn all the bubbles out. Make sure all the bubbles are out. Move it all over the place. Make sure, tap it on the side a little bit maybe. All right, now I'm going to, without bringing this out of the water, keeping it in the underwater, I'm gonna assemble it. And there should be no air bubble when I'm done. This time, let's see here, get that cap on good and tight. Now I've got it under the water mm. and there is no air bubble there at all. So when I pull it out of the water, I expect there will not be an air bubble as well. And no air bubble. Okay. All right, so now that worked. And that's how you would do an air bubble in any snow globe. Uh, just assemble it underwater and just uh, no air bubble. Okay, so we're gonna dry this off and we're gonna put a bead of glue around here to keep mm -hmm. this airtight. So we'll be right back. All right, so still no air bubble. This is all dry now. So we're gonna put a bead of hot glue where this uh, collar meets the globe to hopefully not only uh, keep them together, but keep any air from getting in there. So Allie, if you could hold mm -hmm. that right there. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while I, I'm gonna put a thin bead of glue on there. If you could just turn the globe while I'm doing that, and then we'll just go ahead and just, there we go. Right. All right, so. Okay. Now that we did that, we're gonna let this glue cool, and I'll probably, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the screwdriver here and just knock this down a little bit so that's not sticking up so high. Mm. And just keep that seal on there. Right. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we're gonna let that hot glue cool. Okay. 
holding that collar on there. And when we're done with that, then we're going to be ready to assemble this thing and uh, take a look at it. Okay. okay, we'll be back. Okay, so the glue around the meeting point of the sleeve and the globe is cooled now. Everything, still no air bubble. Everything was good. Now, this base right here uh, had glue in it holding this in. However, it seemed to be a tight fit. So I'm going to try and just put this in here without any glue. Be quiet. <laughs> and I think it'll be fine because if we ever need to work on it again, it'll be easier to take apart. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So, yeah. It's, yeah. I don't need to glue that in Looks there. Not, it's, yeah. it's holding it. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's so cute. Yay. All right. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and put this up on the uh, stand and take a look at it. We're, we finished it. Look at that. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, here she is, all finished up. The Austrian snow globe. My from... little light bulb snow globe. Yes, Sally says it looks just like a light bulb, and I just realized, uh, you know what? It does look like a light bulb, mm -hmm. which is interesting because if you watch the documentary, uh, Erwin Percy, the inventor of the snow globe, was trying to improve the light bulb when he uh, actually came across the invention of the snow globe. And uh, this is a special snow globe for a couple of reasons, because it's from Austria and it's from the grandson of the guy who, uh, you know, uh, invented the snow globe. But also it's, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting because it's a very simple globe. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. I yeah. mean, it's like the, the base is just a simple plastic black base. The, the ornament or excuse me, the figurine is a very simple figurine. It's it's also Plastic. it's it's two dimensional. Yeah. It's it's all flat and two dimensional, and like you got the back, and then you've got the front and the side. But uh, the thing is, in 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 that simplicity, there's also some some elegance to it. You know, it's like yeah. it's like it's it's very it's it's a very cool looking glow because of its simplicity. It looks yeah. Uh, and and then of course. Um, the design of this globe. This is a very different design than like any other globe we've worked on. The way that it's uh, constructed and put together was a challenge. Yeah. Uh, but we got it fixed. Of course, uh, we had to discard the uh, rubber seal, which wasn't working and allowing Useless. the water to leak in and air to, uh, you know, water leak out and air to leak in. So we got rid of that and we had to seal it with uh, hot glue to get that, uh, that water to stay in there. And, uh, and of course, also, like we said, uh, these snow globes come uh, with uh, pure Austrian spring water from the factory, which obviously we didn't have that. So as you saw, we used our Zephyr Hills mm -hmm. spring water. And so we have spring water in there, pure mm -hmm. spring water, no glue, no glycerin, no anything. And as I said, the snow in here is we, amazing. We recovered the snow, the original snow, and uh, we were able to clean it. And if you didn't see the, that, that part of the video, we rinsed it all out. But so this is the snow that's designed to fall slowly in plain water. So we're going to go ahead and shake it up here and take a look. And I mean, I'm just, look at that. that's like so cool. That snow, I'm telling you, I don't know how they did it. The buoyancy of the snow is just enough that it it stays up for a while, then yeah. it kind of falls, but... That's cool. That's pure water, no yeah. no, no glue, nothing in there. So uh, this turned out really nice, yeah. and it's a special globe from Austria. So we, uh, you know, uh, hey, if they ever, if they see uh, this video in Austria and uh, they decide they'd like to send us a bottle of uh, pure Austrian Oops, spring water. Do. We'll We'll definitely try to take this apart yeah. and, 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 and make sure it's back to original, but it's almost original, all, almost. almost like 99% original. So, uh, uh, oh, by the way, I almost forgot one of our uh, uh, subscribers shared something with us about a week or two ago, which I thought was interesting. Uh, he just out of the blue shared with us that the uh, name for snow globes in German is Schneekugel. I spent some time in Germany. Schneekugel. Schneekugel, yeah. I spent some time in Germany. I was there for three years when I was stationed there in the Air Force. And uh, I learned the language, but uh, Schneekugel is a phrase I wasn't uh, familiar with. I looked it up, and sure enough, it is correct. But uh, so I thought, uh, that's interesting that you sent us that information because I thought we have a uh, globe from Austria that we're going to fix here, and uh, we could use that. So uh, I'll put that up on the screen so you can hit, get the proper spelling. But uh, thanks to uh, uh, Lance, our subscriber there, for providing that information. So Schneekugel. That's German for uh, snow globe, and this is a snow globe from Austria. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and uh, learned something about this snow globe. Uh, this is a visitor to our country here, so uh, we're taking care of him, and we saved him from the uh, 
in the garbage can. Yes, they're so in the ruins. He, he he almost ended up in the garbage. So now he's uh, he's going to join the uh, island of misfit snow globes here in our house. Yes. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us. Thanks and, so much uh, for your time. We will see you in the next uh, video. And uh, at the end of the video here, we're going to have some links. So come check out some of our stuff. So thank you. Bye. Bye.